Well, hey everybody, it is Sunday, April 25th. For you turkey hunters out there, I hope your turkey season is going well and going safe. I am on beautiful Palm de Terre Lake, doing a little scouting and looking around for the next Stop 4 Solo Pro Series event coming up here in about three weeks. So um, I fished this lake twice here many years ago and have not been on it in a long time. So got the day off so I'm here at the Nemo Landing rather and uh, gonna explore the Lindley arm of the lake today to do some looking around and see what we can find. Water temperature is 56 degrees and uh, this lake's supposed to have a lot of good bass in it. One of the things I like most about the Solo Pro Series is it kind of forces you to, to fish some new lakes and explore some of the beautiful lakes we have in Missouri and man we're awful blessed have some great ones. You know, Stockton, Mark Twain, Table Rock, Truman, Palm de Terre, Lake of the Ozarks, uh, you name it. Uh, that's just the lakes, let alone all the great rivers we have. So, anyway, I'm going to do some looking around here on the Lindley Arm this morning, uh, see what we can find, and uh, hopefully catch a few fish. Pommy's 13 inches, so that might be a pommy keeper.
Oh, oh my God, a big musky. Oh, I don't want to catch you. I didn't set the hook. Look at that big musky. Actually, this is kind of cool though. <laughs> oh my gosh, I saw him swim out and come and get it. <laughs> Look at that big old musky. <laughs> Come on, darling, I don't want to hurt you. We're going to go for a ride. Come here, darling. Good Lord, you're a giant, aren't you? Ah! Figured my net's buried way back in the back. Ah! Screw around and break him off, dummy. Or break your rod. Give up. I'm gonna turn you loose, I promise. <laughs> what a cool lake. Golly, can you have a bunch of favorite lakes all at the same time? Get all your crap out of the way here, Junior. Come on, I promise you I'm gonna turn you loose. And don't you get me either. Gotcha. <laughs> Look at the size of that musky. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. That's the coolest thing I've caught all year. Come on, run to be nice. That is an awesome, awesome musky. I don't even know how long she is. Mmm, what a beauty. Gosh, I don't even had tape to measure. Either way, she's a giant. I don't trust these GoPros. I just want to make sure I got a good picture of her. Giant palm to tear musky. Love it. Back you go, darn it. There you go, there you go, there you go. Beautiful. Off she goes. That was so awesome. <laughs> what a great day right there.
watched her swim out nice and slow and come get that <laughs> lure. That was pretty cool. Keeper. It's the ones that break you off you think are huge. And it's a little 12 incher trying to throw my hook. <laughs> but by God, it would have been a five pounder had he not jumped. That's too funny.
That's a palm to Terry Keeper finally. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice one. Been waiting a while for one like that. All right, it's 3.30. Um, went all the way up to Lindley, about as far as I could get. Um, ended up with, uh, I don't know, seven or eight keepers, I'd say. Um, nothing real big. That one largemouth there at the very end, that was probably close to four, was the was the dandy. Um, out kind of the main main river channel, not far, not very far back. Uh, on a floating worm, so. The highlight was that great big muskie. Uh, wow, what a what a giant! And so, you know, I did not see anything on the beds. I saw some old beds, but didn't see anything on the beds. Um, really didn't catch anything of any size, other than that one four. So, um, it's a lot of fun fishing, but I just don't know that unless there's more fish that move back in there in the next three weeks. Nothing that really excited me a whole lot, but. It was good to get away from the crowds, though, too. Get way up the river, and, and uh, so I'm gonna work my way back out the Lindley here and try and find some other stuff, kind of on the flats a little bit. See if I can't figure out a couple more and find out where the big females are at. So, um, pretty good day, really. That's a neat little lake, man. It's a beautiful little lake. So um, I'm gonna explore this a little bit more this afternoon. See what we come up with. That's why you throw the buzz bait. If they're all mad and you miss it, you're gonna get spanked. There, baby. Mm. That's why you throw the buzz bait. Stud. Got that GoPro? up a pretty fun day on Pompeter Lake. It's a little after seven o'clock and I think I'm ready to go get a bite to eat and call it a day. So caught a lot of fish today. Um, several keepers. I think the two biggest bass were three and a half, maybe four. Um, caught that great big muskie. Boy, that was awesome. That's probably going to be the thumbnail for this video. That was pretty cool. So anyway, um, lots of fish in this lake. Pommy keepers are 13, so had a good time exploring the Lindley Arm today. Went all the way up, almost as far as I could get, and then just kind of hit some different things on the way back. I'm not too worried about finding a pattern or a group of fish right now. They're gonna change between now and three weeks when the tournament starts. So uh, this was more just a fun day to explore the lake. And uh, like I said at the beginning, it's kind of neat fishing the Solo Pro Series. It's, it's making me fish lakes that I wouldn't normally take the time to fish like I should. So Missouri's blessed with beautiful lakes and rivers, so. Had a great day on Pommy today and uh, looking forward to coming back here in a couple weekends as well and doing some more looking. I'll, I'll probably explore the Pommy arm next. Go way up it for a little ways and see what we find up there. But Great day. Thanks for watching everybody.